Hello everybody, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila, and I'm here to do the um, May Love Reading for 2016 for the Scorpio. Hey Scorpios! Um, so I'm going to do a six card spread, and we're going to look for the remaining of the month of May, and just kind of have them, I guess... <clears throat> Um, it's kind of different, the spread that I'm going to do. Um, card number one is going to be um, something that you need to know that you're not aware of. Um, something about this person, your sexual chemistry, your emotional connection, um, any outside influences. Is it long-term potential? And then you'll have a final card. Um, make sure that you subscribe so that you can enter into the 3,000 subscriber giveaway. Um, I will be giving you guys the details of that soon. If you want a personal reading, the link to my website is in the video description box also. So card number one, Scorpios, you got the Eight of Wands. And this is a really good card because this is, um, you know, overcoming some sort of attack. There was a message that was sent, and it seems like there was some sort of overcoming. So um, the illustration of the Eight of Wands is a crow flying in with some sort of message okay so depending on the outer line cards you know this message could be negative or positive um, but in general the eight of wands is all about overcoming some sort of um, some sort of attack um, this is some sort of quick action that was taken. For those of you that um, are single, I do see you as um, going on some sort of um, trip or something by air and you're going to go on a very fast trip and you're going to meet somebody <clears throat> there, probably on the airplane, I don't know. Um, if you are involved with somebody though um, you're gonna <clears throat> you actually got some important news this month about this person so um, card number two um, is the sexual chemistry and you did get the king of wands so this is again another um, masculine card the wand suit is um, the male energy and it's all about creation so the king of wands is the father um the role model you know somebody very uh caring and loving so it's it's like a protective protective vibe you know what i'm saying i think the king of wands is coming out as a literal person it could either be the person that you know it could be male or woman it could be you or this other person so I definitely do see somebody coming if you're single someone is coming because for the court card for the king to come out you know and he can represent a man or a woman um, it just represents someone who really takes the person that they're with seriously like it's very closely related to their identity that person represents them um, this card is also very passionate because it is the wand and it is fire energy so this is um, you know a very passionate um, a sexual chemistry between you and this person so um, if you are involved with someone um, I do see a very passionate 
sexual connection and you know um usually whenever a court card shows up you know as a literal person um this shows a very um huge presence okay um of this person Um, your emotional connection is the death card. So there was some sort of recent transformation or either there's one coming this month. So the emotional connection, it either could have been good or bad to begin with. And there's going to be some sort of change. I imagine that it's a good emotional connection because of the King of Wands though. So I would say that more than likely, depending on the remainder of the cards... I would say that it was it would be some sort of transformation for the good. It was some sort of end of one cycle and the beginning of another. Um, it's typically what the death card represents. Um, a lot of people think the death card is bad. It actually represents rebirth or birth. You know, with without death, there would be no birth. You know. And so there was a change. Now, for some of you, um, you know, that are single, that are not involved with someone, um, you know, there may be some sort of issue with connecting with a person emotionally. But other than that, judging by the other cards, I don't want to say that this is based upon anything negative um your external influences you did get the queen of cups so this is another court card which is another literal person in your life this is either you or the person that you're with whoever it is they are a strong presence they're very important to you for them to come out and you got the king of wands and the queen of cups so this is a really good couple because the King of Wands has got a lot of fire energy. And the Queen of Cups, you know, she's water energy. So she knows how to calm or cool him down. So for this to come out as the external influences, um, the Queen of Cups is a really cool person. She's an amazing person. Um, she represents birth, life, you know. So she's indicating a lot of positive energy. So if you're already involved with someone, um, you know, your partner has a lot of positive energy um, and, and is really giving a lot to you emotionally, I can tell. Um, if you're single, this is definitely this person. They are going to come into your life. And the Queen of Cups can represent male or female. Okay, so um, possible... Um, Scorp another possible Scorpio Cancer or Pisces but I'm thinking Scorpio or Cancer um, is it a long term connection or does it have long term potential and I would say yes because you got the Six of Wands so this is a beautiful card to get in any love reading um, this is someone that is proud of the way that they feel about that person and they kind of want to tell the world. I definitely do see this is happening. Um, you see Scorpio, you got one, two, three, four wine suits. So this is um, a lot of, you know, work I can see this month that you're doing with as far as like your... Um, your moral code and your ethics and you know you're starting to take a look at self so the wand suit is all about identity so the six of wands is someone coming out and, and being very proud of um, achievements 
um, including a relationship. You know, people are usually very proud of their relationships when they want the relationship. <laughs> um, the six is also a very healthy balance, okay, and, and really wonderful public recognition. So I can even see um, a wedding ceremony or maybe some sort of engagement ceremony, possibly. Um, your final card, Scorpio, is the Page of Wands. So the final card in this reading is the outcome. So this is where the situation is heading. And you did get the Page of Wands. <clears throat> and the Page of Wands is such a really good card. Um, it can mean messages are coming. Um, let's see here. Sorry about that. <clears throat> so the Page of Wands. Um, if you look at the illustration, it's um, someone using handmade stilts. Um, the page boldly treks across an icy pond, undaunted by the, in by the inherent risk of his actions, he confronts life's obstacles with youthful optimism and energy. So this is you um, getting some sort of um, vitality. This is a boost of vitality, especially with it being the wand. So this is really creative thinking when it comes to your relationship. So um, if you're single, I do see you as really going out of your way to impress this person, even if you're single or involved with someone. Um, you know, the fact that <clears throat> in this illustration, um, to get this, it looks like this person is kind of skating on thin ice to get to this other person. So, you know, this is um, sort of a romantic gesture that's going to be coming up as an outcome for May. Um, so this is going to be either you, Scorpio, that's going to do this romantic gesture or you're going to get it. If you're dating a Scorpio, he should be giving you some sort of message and he should be, I mean, literally with this card, what I'm seeing is someone, um, you know, in a horse and a carriage, just some sort of big, elaborate um, you know kind of showcase type of situation so that's a really positive card and that's really good because this is the first reading that I've done today with just all positive cards except for the death card but the death card um, is not negative it can be depending on the surrounding card so being that it was a transformation that um, led to all of these other cards I definitely um, I want to say to you that you were just like really, I don't know, I want to say it's all about transformation with uh, the Scorpios this month, you know, especially those who, you know, had some kind of struggle with this Eight of Wands, okay, so the Eight of Wands indicated some sort of unexpected, urgent news, okay, if you're already involved with someone. Um, if you're single, the Eight of Wands is showing that, you know, there's some Scorpios that might have to go away um, on business or something, or maybe a personal family thing. I can see that, the you know, the travel with this card. But, you know, other than that, I just say that you've had a lot of positive transformations for um, May already. And if you're not seeing them, then you should. Um, Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you thumbs up this video and make sure you subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.